Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if it's your first time. My name is Brandy, and I'm the owner of Boundless Treasures Boutiques. Today, we're gonna do this fun V split with an ombre center using vinyl, glitter, and of course, a drip. Please be sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials, and let's get to it. So to start, I'm taking a regular piece of computer paper, and I am laying it uh, lengthwise and taking the top corner and folding it over until it meets the other side. From there, I am cutting off the bottom excess, which is going to leave me with two perfectly sized triangles. I will cut that in half and I will use one as my template. Um, I will tape it on using painter's tape. Just to make sure to remove the sticky. From there, so we can create the section for our glitter ombre V-split, I'm taking one inch painter tape and um, I am using two of those to create uh, a two inch space. Um, I am going to use my craft knife to cut the points of each side. This way I just have really, really nice crisp point and I get crisp lines in my end results. Once I have finished that, I am going to take my vinyl that I got from my flock box from the Drunk Flamingo. Uh, for the month of February, I'm using the Honeycomb one uh, and the Daisies with Bees. It is so, so cute. Um, but I'm using the triangle that I cut out for the template, the other side of it, to get my honeycomb cut just perfectly. And then you'll see here in a moment that I am going to apply it from the middle point um, to the top. Um, please learn from me. This is not the best way to apply your vinyl. Um, if I could go back and do this again, I would have done it very similar to how I did the bottom, which is taking it from the right corner or left corner and um, pushing it over just like you would do a normal vinyl wrap. Um, the middle did make it a little bit more challenging with air bubbles at the top. I was able to get them out in the end, but I feel like had I used the regular hinge method, it would have worked uh, much, much better. From there, I'm going to take the bottom piece um, and you guys are going to see me get on the struggle bus here with this. But what I would suggest is I would suggest just cutting it into squares. Um, that way you don't waste vinyl the way that I did here, um, especially because it's so, so cute. But um, cutting it into squares will make the bottom uh, portion application so much easier. Uh, you will see here that I did come around and I did use the hinge, me hinge method to apply the bottom of my V split and it was so much easier. And then I just used my scissors to cut off the excess at the bottom and um, brought in my edge cutter from Cami Page Boutique uh, just so that I had a nice crisp line at the bottom of my tumbler. Um, I'll make sure to link everything below that um, from the edge cutter to uh, the Drunk Flamingos website. That way, if you guys decide you want to go and grab some, you totally can. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my painter's tape that I have from my middle portion of my V-split and move it to my vinyl. This I'm going to use uh, when I do my spray painting, and I'm going to add some saran wrap so that my vinyl is completely covered and I don't have any overspray when I'm doing my spray paint work. On to spray paint. So I'm using Rust-Oleum. Um, one is the Ocean Mist and the other is, I believe it is um, Lemon, but I'm not 100%. I will check and I will make sure to put the right color in the description. Um, but the way I went about adding this for the V-Split was, just like I would a normal ombre. I wasn't trying to follow any particular um, pattern. I thought that I would get the best ombre if I just did it like I normally did. Um, and it turned out absolutely 
great. Um, I did go back and forth a couple times until I got the uh, ombre effect that I was looking for. Um, so keep going back and forth until you get what you want. Um, if you're continuing to go back and forth, maybe pause, let it dry for 20 minutes and come back to it and try it again. Um, but from here, we're going to go ahead and jump right into doing our middle section, our ombre glittered V split. Um, I am going to be using Crystal Lac Glitter Glue as my adhesive today. Um, I felt like this would be a really, really great opportunity to use this since I'm working in such a small space and don't want uh, to risk the epoxy getting anywhere or making a mess of the vinyl. Um, all the glitters that I am using are from, again, the Drunk Flamingos Flock Box. Um, I am using uh, the blue color here, that one is called Bees Knees. It's a beautiful, fine, and chunky mix. And the yellow is called Honeycomb, nope, Tequila Honeybee. Uh, and it is a beautiful, beautiful fine. Um, and they just, oh, they just turned out so, so pretty. I was really, really happy. Um, with these two colors together to create this ombre. But just like I would on a full cup, um, I'm going to go back and forth until I get the blend I want. And once I'm happy, I let my glitter glue sit and dry for two hours. And then I went in with my first two coats of epoxy. I used 30 mLs on this cup for the first two cups. Um, I know that that seems like a lot, but with the chunky mix glitter um, and the fine glitter, I just wanted to do as little sanding as I possibly could. And then I torched it with my kitchen torch to get any pesky bubbles out. Now on to the fun part. Uh, we are going to be doing our drip. Um, if you guys don't know, I've been obsessed with drips lately. They have been so much fun. Um, but what I'm using here is I'm using my Speedy PD Facet Epoxy. Now, there is a lot of debate on whether to use Facet Epoxy. I did not run into any issues with flash curing, um, but that is a common thing that people run into. So here would be my best advice, friends. Use the epoxy that works best for you. Um, I didn't run into any problems, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't. So fast set, regular set, either will work, um, whichever you're more comfortable with. I did use Tim Holtz Latte. Um, I used about four drops of that alcohol ink, and then I added in Honeycomb, which is a fine mix uh, from the Drunk Flamingo, which again, I got in the February flock box. And it just gave it the perfect honey color with the perfect um little sparkle and then i used my thickening agent i got this from amazon i have actually been really really happy with it it is stone coat uh, epoxy thickening agent um, i will be sure to link that in the description but um it has definitely worked in all the drips that i have used and you'll see here folks i'm adding a little bit at a time i would definitely recommend go slow. Um, you can always add more, but you can't always take away. Um, also make sure that you are mixing it thoroughly. Um, it's kind of like pancake batter. Um, you'll have little bumps. Just make sure that you mix those into the epoxy. I'll just push it along the sides and that works just fine. Once you've <clears throat> got your thickening agent all mixed in, you're going to go ahead and start applying your drip, your drip. Once you get to the thickening thickness, good grief, that you're looking for. Um, I did have a few drips and drops, so I used just a regular baby wipe to wipe those off my vinyl, and it came right off. Um, I don't remember who I saw that hack from, but um, thank goodness for them. If you know who it is, please drop it in the comments. Um, but if you don't have baby wipes around your craft room and you're doing cups, 
please go get some. From there, I allowed that to cure since it was fast set. It took about an hour and a half to two hours and I was able to go right in to my final two coats of epoxy. I did use um, my kitchen torch to pop any bubbles. But the one thing I will say is with your drips, friends, make sure that in the little, those little grooves and dips that you're pulling out any excess that may be pulling in those. Um, it will pull, that's not uncommon. So the less epoxy that you use, the less it's going to pull. Um, but just use your finger to get in there and really drag that epoxy down and you'll be fine. Um, I also do take it up and over my epoxy drip. I personally just like the way that finishes the best, um, but many, many Tumblr creators, since the drip is epoxy, just leave it as is, which is absolutely 100% fine. And you guys, I let this epoxy spin in between each coat uh, probably about five to six hours, but your drying times may vary based on the epoxy that you're using as well as the temperature of your workspace. So just keep that piece in mind. But once these two were all done, this beautiful, beautiful cup um, was ready to go. She is listed in my Etsy shop, so I will link that um, I wasn't sure I was going to list this one, but I eventually gave in and decided, why not? I can always make me uh, another one if I really, really want to. Um, but I absolutely loved, loved, loved making this cup. I would love to know what you guys thought, what you think. Um, so leave that in the comments below. And also, friends, please don't forget to follow us on our social media. If you do decide to recreate this, I would absolutely love for you to tag me. But until next time, friends, have a beautiful day.